Hi, have you ever just opened a shopping website randomly and browse through it, see what you like, maybe add a couple things to your cart and for some reason you just don't feel it anymore so you just keep it for later or you discard the whole thing. Let me tell you, what you just experienced is something called retail therapy and that is the topic for today. Hi, my name is Aman Preet Singh and welcome to today's video of Text Wired. I usually cover topics in fashion and textile to educate consumers like you and me who wish to be more mindful about their purchases or who also want to learn more about this industry in general. So let's get to it. Retail therapy is shopping with the primary purpose to restore your mood or disposition. It's actually found in people who are going through depression, sadness or some level of stress. It's actually a very short-lived habit. So theoretically, whatever you purchase during retail therapy is called comfort buys. It's been found that people tend to look into shopping as therapy when they are going through a difficult time, for instance, a breakup or when they feel that things are not going as planned. There's a huge flow of anxiety and we feel like we have lost control over our life because we don't know how things are going to be from this point forward. So this is where retail therapy comes in to help restore some sort of control in our personal environment. It's actually an illusion that we want to believe and we accept because it will help us exercise some level of control at least somewhere at that moment. A study in the University of Michigan in 2014 revealed that when we purchase something that we actually enjoy can help restore up to 40 times more control than not shopping at all. Like if one day you are sitting on your couch, laying in your bed, thinking life is not going as you planned. So actually buying something that you enjoy will help restore so much control that you feel like it's a positive personal achievement in fact. So next time you add things to your cart, just buy it. So, just by going through the mall and doing some window shopping can have a positive impact on our mood. This is because subconsciously we are trying to anticipate the reward that we might get if we actually end up purchasing something and that releases dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical that is released in our brain when we feel good or rewarded for something. And that chemical further encourages us to look more into things making retail therapy a go-to for a lot of people. And it's not only the act of purchasing something, it's actually the whole process from walking to window shopping to purchasing something. For example, one of our parents are, always have plans to go to a mall just to get their mind off boredom. So maybe next time you can join them and trick them into answering if they feel any loss of control in any sense. Retail therapy in the online space is very similar to what we just mentioned earlier. It's about the whole process. In this case, it is the anticipation and the excitement when our package is being delivered to our house and we can imagine ourselves going through the whole unboxing experience. And that's pretty much it. If you recall, in the beginning of the video, I made a scenario where you add things to your cart but don't buy anything at all. Now why is that? It's because our brain has already worked so much in deciding and giving each item a rational meaning to add to cart that when we look at the list at the end, we just don't feel like buying anymore. And we feel that consciously saving or spending less money is actually more beneficial. Actually, that's where most of the time that's where I end up. I mean, what is more rewarding than conscious saving? The realization is important because we are only getting a therapy done. And retail therapy is not actual therapy. If you are doing or experiencing something more than what I have covered in this whole video, then you might be drifting into something that is called compulsive shopping, which I'll be definitely covering in the future videos. If you ever feel low and want to treat yourself, then by all means, go ahead and make that purchase. Retail therapy can really help you feel much better, as long as you understand that you are not overspending. So it's more like a coping mechanism that can actually help you feel much better and get through things. But please remember, retail therapy is not actual therapy. If you are experiencing any form of mental health syndrome or you feel retail therapy is not enough, then I would highly suggest you look or talk to a therapist. It's much better than wasting so much money on purchasing something that you will never need. That will be it guys. If you like such content, then please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.